yeah, let's uh, let's talk about how we got here. And we're going to start with an anecdote, because it kind of goes way back. And this is something I've told... I've mentioned at least once or twice on the channel, maybe actually much more often than that. I tend to <laughs> not always remember the things that I say. Many of you probably have that problem as well. Um, but I've certainly told a number of friends, and I think they mostly took it as a joke. And it kind of is, but that's also just kind of my personality, right? Where there is this sort of a absurdist approach to, you know, some of life's deepest philosophies and most important decisions. But anyway, that aside, it goes like this. After I started teaching at the Seattle Go Center as a volunteer, oh, we're going back like 13 years ago, and I started, especially after I started putting videos online and being relatively just consistent about it, just putting in a lot of time to this, you know, more or less volunteer effort, I knew at some point, like, this couldn't go on forever. At some point, I would, I would be like, well, I've got something else. <laughs> And I had no idea when that would come. And so in my mind, I envisioned this roulette wheel. And it had like a thousand spaces on it. <laughs> not like your normal, was it 36, 38 space roulette wheel? And I'm not a good gambler. I guess I'm probably actually a really good gambler because I don't gamble. That makes me a really good gambler, I think. But that's a different story. Anyway, I had this thousand slot roulette wheel that... For, for periods of time in my life, I would, like, literally kind of spin it in my head, like, every day. Uh, but mostly, you know, it kind of gets spun on days where I had to make a Go video or teach a Go class or go do something. And every space on it was, like, keep going. Like, keep doing what you're doing. But there was one space on it, the triple zero space, where I knew that if I hit it, it would that would be it. <laughs> like that, that's, that's my signal to end. And man, there, there've been a lot of days in teaching go at the go center and also running this YouTube channel where it's come really close to that triple zero, like one or two off. And I think yesterday I woke up in it and I just thought through that sequence and it's this, this like little mental roulette wheel uh, it's more of a feeling, right, than a, than a literal roulette wheel. Some of you are probably thinking I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, it just felt right to hit it. Okay, now I'm going to cry. But yeah, I woke up and just thought about it and was like, no, no. I think we're done. And I'd really like to tell you, like, oh, I've got all these great things I'm going to go do. But nah, no. I'm going to do more of the same. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm already doing. You know, it's kind of like you spend 12 years doing something. And, like, that is what becomes of your life. That is your life. Playing Go. Making videos. <laughs> trying to teach people. These aren't like the most important things in the world. But these are often the things that make life worth living. And I know the internet's weird. And making like internet content is weird. It's like the most disconnecting thing you can do. I've mentioned a few times, you know, on this channel, you know, my feelings don't parasocial relationships. But, you know, Go is basically like one of these like pure loves that I have. And still have. I do want to be clear, like I'm not going to stop playing Go entirely. I'm probably not even going to stop posting videos on this channel entirely. I'm definitely going to stop for a while. And in the most honest way I can be, in that way that anyone can be honest in the present, but no one knows the future. You know, I'm probably never going to post regular content again. And again, I think many of you watching this are like, well, why? <laughs> really, what it comes down to is, you know, my heart just isn't in it enough. 
there's other ways that I've just been enjoying spending my time. Uh, different sets of people. And not that I don't value like all the beautiful friendships and relationships and just all the people I met playing Go. And so many of you still like some of my best friends. And that's not going to change. But I know for me, I look around and I see, you know, people at Go tournaments and the Go Center on YouTube, even on Twitch, that have just so much more that fire inside them to do this. And there's a large part of me that just feels like I'm taking up space. And I know that's not entirely true. Like, like it's not like, <laughs> like we're all competing for ad revenue or something and I'm, you know, taking away, you know, like, like, I don't, I, I feel like my contributions are still positive, right, at this point. But it is, it is a thought, right, that there are lots of people out there who are making great content. I don't feel like I'm leaving this community, like, completely naked in the cold. When I really started posting these videos on the internet, on YouTube specifically, I think, I think by far the biggest channel uh, was Dwyron. And so he was a huge influence on me in that sense, and just in terms of just his existence and, you know, showing me specifically that, oh yeah, you can make content lessons about Go and have people watch it and help spread the game. And it was hugely inspiring. Um, and, you know... He and I have talked a number of times, little internet chats. We've had a couple, we've done a couple of videos together. But I guess as I go along here and I start thanking specific people, I guess I'd actually like to thank him first. Uh, certainly I wouldn't have started this channel if he didn't exist, at least not at the time that I did. And at the same time, you know, I think I'm making myself sound way more important to the Go community than I actually am. <laughs> I do have an ego but it's not that big. <laughs> I've had fantasies about giving this channel to some other content creator or, uh, you know, even my son, right? Like every dad like has, you know, those little dreams for their kid, taking your kid out back, throwing a baseball, my kid's going to be in the World Series, you know, those kinds of dreams. Certainly never dreamed about my kid being in the World Series. I really don't want him to play baseball. I really dislike baseball. <laughs> Apologies to all the baseball fans out there. But, you know, you, I, had the, I have had the fantasy of like, oh yeah, maybe Beckett would really like Go, and he could be this really great Go player from a young age. <laughs> he just didn't really have an interest in it. Like, it didn't quite captivate him. He's too much of an extrovert. He's too too much of a kid. He also really doesn't want to learn anything from his parents. Like, he's a little too independent for that, which is great. As far as giving the channel to some other content creator, well, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's still, it's like, like, this channel is too much of my, of my own identity, right? It's not like, it's not, it's not a business, right? You know, if you open a practice and it's time for you to retire, uh, you want to see that business keep going. And I guess that's the difference for this channel, that it's, it's not a business. <laughs> Something that happened earlier this year that, I don't know, it's made me feel like especially awful. And I'm still processing it. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. But from the beginning, I'd always wanted to make this channel ad-free. And... It was brought to my attention, like, even though, like, I had not monetized any videos, I very deliberately, like, checked off all the, all the possible ads on every single video that I could. Um, I found out that YouTube was running ads, or, yeah, ads on my videos anyway. And, yes, I know, like, I've been a freeloader, so to speak, on, like, 
YouTube's platform, you know, basically using up tons and tons of their resources and whatever, whatever you want to call it, hosting tech. Uh, but, man, seeing an ad, watching one of my own videos... That kind of, that, that, that felt very violating. And I've had so many of you guys, like, even write to me. Like, whenever I say something like that, you know, like, whenever I've mentioned that in a video, like, the top comment is always, like, ad block. Like, I just run ad block. And, of course, I run ad block on all my <laughs> browsers, too. But, man, this year, YouTube's been cracking down on that. And, and then the second comment, actually, after just get ad block, is usually something like, Oh, I'd watch ads. That's fine. That's not a big deal. And I think for most people, it's not a big deal. Like, yeah, it's fine. Of course, we see we're, we're inundated with advertisements in any sort of capitalistic Western society. But man, that sucked. Yeah, violating is a good term for it, but it was also, like, I felt like I just let down people. Yeah, it was more just something I promised myself. A lot of it had to do with, I think... The decision to start a Patreon for this channel. And so many of you, right, for often even like years at a time, would chip in $2 a month. Like, I really can't even overstate how important that was to me. Um, because it did let me know that, like, oh, no, what I'm doing does have value. And I know this isn't the biggest YouTube channel. <laughs> I know it's not like I said, a business, it's not designed to bring in money. Uh, but it really did give me, like, more than anything else, just, like, the confidence to keep doing it. And so if you supported this channel, I know I know, if I didn't have that Patreon, I would have I would have hit that triple zero on the roulette wheel a long time ago. I'm always just a cheerleader to see more great content out there. And so, especially when pro players... Like, Lee Hodgen started her channel, you know, 10 years ago. You know, I was her bigger, biggest cheerleader. But every time something like that happened, it also made me question and be like, well, what do I have to say? What, what, what am I contributing? And so, like, for many years, my, my own energy, my own drive for Go, and also, by consequence, making Go content would revolve around these like real life go experiences and the u.s go congress i mean was chief among them it's such a good experience getting together a few hundred go players every year like over a real table real stones real boards but just more most importantly just real people so invigorating so anyway for patreon backers again you know you are some of my people many of you i've never met many of you i have <laughs> Uh, many of you have sent me messages. It's taken me way too long to respond to. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it does happen. But I am canceling all my Patreon subscriptions. My my subscribers. I hope you, none of you are offended by that. I won't be making any new content, so it doesn't feel right to have subscribers. Uh, if someone feels really, really indebted, like especially if someone's like discovering this channel and wants to go back and watch all 528 other videos before this. Like, that's great. I mean, that's a really great way to actually let me know, like, oh no, this content's actually going to kind of live on even if you're not making new content. Which, I'm actually not convinced it is. <laughs> With YouTube's algorithms and new content creators, I'm aware this channel will eventually turn to dust. And I do believe that given the algorithm state of YouTube... The reason why it has stayed alive and there are so many of you still subscribed is because I have been pretty consistent in making content. And I've done that for 12 years. That's a long time. <laughs> so anyway, where does that bring us? I guess I have way too many thank yous to even like go through here. We're all part of the same community. And man, this community is awesome. So I guess the best thing to say is thank you for being a part of it. I hope you enjoyed what I've done. I hope 
it helped further your love for the game. Hope I taught you something along the way. And yeah, don't be a stranger. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to stop playing Go. I'm not going to stop going to the US Go Congress. But those things are going to be different for me. Happy going.